Hi everyone, it's Miss Patty. Poppy and I are here for toddler story time. Should we say hello to everyone, Poppy? All right, how about you go in your basket and we'll say hello. We'll do our hello song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello. Okay. Our first story that I'd like to share today is called Flip and Flop by Dawn Apperley. Do you know what kind of animals Flip and Flop are? Hmm. Let's see when we read. Wee, said Flip. Look at me. I can stand on one leg. Me too, spluttered Flop. I can do it too. He couldn't and toppled over slowly in the snow. Flip was five. Flop was two. Whatever Flip did, Flop did too. I'm making a snow penguin, said Flip. Me too, said Flop. I'm in my secret hideout, said Flip. Me too, said Flop. In fact, whatever Flip did, Flop did too. Flip and Flop played a made-up game called Boomba. They jumped into the snow, bouncing on their bottoms. Boomba, shouted Flip. Boomba, shouted Flop. Flop loved playing Boomba with Flip. He could play it forever. But sometimes Flip wanted to play other games. One day, Flip was on the play slope playing slip slide with his friend Hip. Flop waddled over. Let's play Boomba, said Flop excitedly. Flip loved Flop. Flop loved Flip. But sometimes Flip thought his little brother was a pest. No, said Flip. I want to play slip slide with Hip, not Boomba with you. No way. Flop felt sad and he shuffled away. Flop waddled and shuffled, shuffled and waddled, up and down, around and around, in and out, until he had wandered far, far away from Flip. Flip way over there and he went all the way over here. Flop found a new play slope and started to play Boomba alone. Boomba, shouted Flop and fell down. He started to cry. Boomba is no fun on my own, sniffled Flop. It is boring and cold. At the top of the slope, someone was watching him. A little bear came sliding down. My name is Hop. Who are you? said the bear. I'm Flop, said Flop, grinning. Do you want to play Boomba with me? Yes, said Hop with a big smile. Together they jumped into the snow, bouncing on their bottoms. Boomba, shouted Flop and Hop as loudly as they could. They were having a really good time. My brother didn't want to play with me today, said Flop. Mine didn't either, said Hop. I'm happy I played with you, said Flop. Me too, said Hop. Soon it was time to go home. The two friends skipped back to the play slope. At the play slope, Flip and Hip were bored with playing slip slide. They looked gloomy. Flip, this is my friend Hop, said Flop proudly. And he's my baby brother, said Hip. Let's all play together, said Flip, and make up a new game, added Flop. 
flip, flop, hip, and hop invented a new game called Slip Slide Boomba. They whizzed, slipped, slid, jumped, and all together shouted, Boomba! Well, in case you didn't guess, Flip and Flop are penguins. And Poppy and I have a penguin friend too. This is Patrick the penguin. See, he has wings and he has little feet, little flippers, and he has a beak and he has one, two eyes. And Patrick, because it's a little cold, is wearing his scarf and his hat to keep him warm. Have you ever seen a penguin walk? They kind of waddle like this. Back and forth, back and forth. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And they keep their, their wings by their side like this. We can do our hands by our sides like this and waddle, waddle, waddle. So, I have a song that I'd like to teach you how to do. And if you want, you can stand up and waddle along with the song. Patrick, I'll have you sit up here with Poppy. So the song goes like this. And if you want, you can put your, your arms down at your sides like wings and waddle back and forth. And it goes like this. Did you ever see a penguin, a penguin, a penguin? Did you ever see a penguin waddle this way and that? Waddle this way and that way and this way and that? Did you ever see a penguin waddle this way and that? All right, good job with your waddling. You can practice doing that in your house if you'd like to, and soon you'll be waddling just like Patrick the Penguin. All right, our next story is also about penguins, and this one is called Little Penguins, and it's by Cynthia Rylett, and the pictures are by Christian Robinson, and I'm reading this with permission from Random House Publishing. Snowflakes. Many snowflakes. Winter is coming. Mittens. Many mittens. They all need their mittens to go outside in the snow. Socks. One for each foot. Lots and lots of socks. What about boots? We need boots to go outside. Red ones. So how is the snow? Deep. The snow is very, very deep. Where's Mama? Sometimes when there's so much snow, it's, you can lose track of someone. On her way. There she is. She is right there. Fur, let's go home. It's getting too cold outside. 
jammies on. Warm cookies, please. And sippies. Thank you. Nice warm cookies to eat and something nice warm to drink. Winter is here. Well, I think we'll have winter for a little bit longer. We have some snow to play in still. And the penguins really like it in the snow. So for our craft today, I've made a penguin. And I just took some black paper, and grown-ups can help you with this, and I cut out kind of an oval shape. It doesn't have to be a true oval, a rough oval. And then I made a smaller oval with some white paper. And then for the feet, I made two heart-shaped feet out of orange paper. And then I made an orange beak, also a heart shape out of orange paper. And then I had some Google eyes, so I put two Google eyes on my penguin. And the penguin waddle, waddle, waddles just like that. I hope you had fun and story time today, and we'll see you real soon. Say goodbye, Poppy and Patrick. We'll see everyone soon. Bye-bye.